What's up, y'all? It's Patrick. In our practice today, we're going to focus on some foundational strength work that will really help you build into many more complicated poses. Uh, so if you have a block handy, a yoga block, that would be great to have. But really, anything in this sort of shape that has some weight to it is all you really need. So um, to start out, you can find any seat that you want where you feel comfortable. And again, maybe you even have an extra block that you sit on uh, to help your hips feel nice and comfortable in their position, your feet as well. And we're going to hold the block a little bit. So I'll come into an angle so you can see this a little bit better. I want you to start by crushing the block in between your hands, activating the biceps, triceps, the elbows are at shoulder height. And all of a sudden we're just in the work of it. So you're, you're feeling your shoulders active. And I don't want you to go full force yet because we're going to floss the shoulders a little bit here. So you're holding the block in between your hands. And then all I want you to do is pull the elbows towards the chest, drop the shoulders down, push the elbows away, lift the shoulders up, pull the shoulders back, pull the shoulders down, push the shoulders forward, lift the shoulders up, pull the shoulders back, lower the shoulders down, push the shoulders forward, lift the shoulders up, reverse that course of action, lower shoulders down, pull shoulders back, lift shoulders up, push them forward, lower down, Pull back, lift up, push forward, lower down, pull back, lift up, push forward. Last time, lower down, pull back, lift up, push to neutral, release. Set the block off to the side for a moment. We're going to come right back to it in a second. Um, lean forward for a moment. Tuck the toes, sit back to the heels. So you have... A little bit of a springy nature, hoping to open up the bottoms of the feet here a little bit. Find the nice curve in the lower back. Feel that you're tilting the hips just subtly forward. And then relocate your block. We're going to do the same action except for with the arms extended out in front of you. So reach the arms forward, push into the palms. And then from here, lift the chest slightly. Pull the shoulders back. Lift up. Push the shoulders forward. Lower down. Pull back. Lift up. Push forward, pull down, pull back, lift up, push forward, lower down, pull back, lift up, push forward, lower down, pull back, and now reverse the action. Push forward, lift up, pull back, lower down, push forward, lift up, pull back, pull down, push forward, lift up, pull back. Pull down, last full round, push forward, lift up, pull back, push down, release. Set the block off to the side for a moment. Untuck the toes, sit to the heels or come back to any seat. Hopefully the shoulders are feeling really good here, setting them up nicely for some of the foundational work that we will do. And then one more thing here with the block in this variation. Put the block in between your hands. This time, just take it up to the sky. And I want you to think about activating everything. So squeeze the block in as much as possible. Wrap the triceps towards the face and lift the fingers up a little bit more. See if you can lengthen the lower belly. Really try to not sit back in your seat. Feel as though you're sitting forward. You're sitting with your best possible posture. And you're crushing this block above your head. Stay active here for 15 14, crush the block, 13, 12, wrap the triceps towards the face, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release. Oh, nice job. <laughs> this stuff is really tough. And again, the heavier this item is, so if you have a, a cork block or a wood block, it is a tough journey. The next thing we're going to do is take the block, put it in between our legs in downward facing dog. So I'd recommend this more narrow width. You go the middle width, definitely don't go the wide width, right? So um, know that your hips, no matter what, are just not that wide, I promise you. Squeeze the block in between your legs and then push your hips up and back and really feel the legs turning on here. See if this helps you decompress the lower back a little bit and just feel your ability to crush the block. Find a good bit of strength there, a good bit of lift, a good bit of breathing, really. 
to keep working the legs. I want you to feel as if you're trying to, you know, break the block in half with the strength of your legs. Like everything is hugging to the middle. You have that much power there. And notice how that really activates everything else. So not only do you maybe feel the inner legs working, but you feel the outer legs working to hug in. The arms are a bit more engaged. The spine is a bit longer. The hips are a bit more part of the process. And maybe your hamstrings are even a bit more turned on. Holding here. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, on one. Keep everything the same in the legs, but begin to walk the hands back towards the toes. Stay on the tips of the toes. Find chair pose with your heels lifted as soon as possible. All of a sudden, you are really in the legs and flirt with the balance a bit there as you stand up. Reach through the fingers, keep hugging the block with all your might. You should feel more pressure in the big toe mounds and in the big toes. Hopefully that helps you open up the lungs a little bit. You can breathe a little bit deeper there. So breathe with a bit more effort, with a bit more energy, with a bit more ferocity, if you will. And then slowly sit down towards the heels, but you won't get all the way there. Just try and rise onto the toes a little bit more. It's like the heels and the hips are trying to meet, but it's just not gonna happen yet. Hold here. Trust yourself, do the work. Create the connection, find your foundation. Drop the heels, fold over the legs, keep the legs bent, and then begin to straighten the legs a little bit. Remove the gripping of the toes and push the hamstrings back back in space of so the femurs, back into the hamstrings, if that makes more sense to you. But feel a lifting through the inner arches of the feet. Drive the hips away. Melt over the legs. Keep hugging everything. Middle feels if you're pushing a block towards the space behind you. And then from here, bring your hands onto your shins. Lift halfway up. Let opposite hand catch opposite elbow. Lean out just a touch. Breathe in here. Begin to bend the knees. Feel the knees tracking over the big toes. Feel the ability to lift the inner and outer arches of the feet a touch more. And then rise up to stand. Stretch the hands up. Squeeze the block. Feel as if you're pushing it forward to lengthen through the hips, get long through the fingers, and then bring your hands to heart center. Now you can tell how um, awesome it is to use a block, how good of a tool it is for activating the body. Go ahead and set the block down to the back of your mat. And all I want you to do is come into forearm plank, but you're going to have, that was an awkward moment, you're going to have your left foot on the block, and your right forearm down on the floor. Your right knee can be down to support you to set up the posture, or when you feel comfortable, you can begin to lift the right foot up. So push the right forearm down, push the left foot down, and just try and hold here. And you'll notice this is really in the shoulder, side body, but also in the left leg. Try and breathe into this position. Stick with it. And the good news is you can always modulate the position by lowering your knee to the floor. Right? Hold here. Push. Find your strength. Find your structure. Really give yourself a good, solid foundation to your practice here. Breathing in. Holding. Just keep driving through the outer edge of the left foot. And release. Switch your side. I'm going to move the setup just so I'm not, my back's not facing all of you. So I'm moving the block to the front of the mat, but you can, of course, keep it where it is. We'll move right into the second side. Hopefully, the first side is feeling pretty good. Push into the outer edge of the right foot. Push into the left forming, and really set yourself up here in a good foundational position, and then begin to lift the left knee up off the ground. Scoop the left hip underneath you. Drive down. Feel your body awakening in this moment. 
Push through the outer edge of the right foot. Push through the left form. Trust your foundation. Continue to build your strength. Notice how this is not just about arm strength. It's about leg strength, full body coordination. All the little pieces coming together. Remember, if you need to modify, let the left knee tap the floor. And again, if you even want to try and intensify, you can tap and lift the knee because that's going to bring some instability to the pulse. Holding here for three, for two, on one, release. Nice work. Move around to the top of the mat. And then from here, just sit back on the heels. Bring the fingertips behind you. Give yourself a moment to breathe. Maybe you want to push the hips up a little bit. You feel some freedom in the spine and the front hips. And release. All right. We're going to start with the block underneath the right hand, and you'll be in plank pose. So find your plank pose, block underneath the right hand, and push through both arms equally so you are off kilter. Okay? Left shoulder should be lower, right shoulder should be higher, unless, of course, you had a big discrepancy in your arm length. Push into your right hand, and then roll onto the outer edge of the right foot, side plank. Keep pushing into the right hand. I want you to really grip the block with the thumb and the pinky finger. Stretch through the left hand. Lift the hips a little bit higher. And then bring your left hand down to the floor. Side plank on the left hand. Bring the block with you. Reach the hand up above you. See if you can look up towards the block. Feel the shoulders stack. Feel a clean line between left hand and right hand. Take an inhale. On the exhale, bring the block back to the floor. Coming into your plank pose, take a push up. Rise up, side plank on the right hand, reaching the left arm up. Trust your stability. Feel everything active. Left hand to the floor. Roll to the outer edge of the left foot. Take the block above you. Grip it as you need to. Push into the left hand. Look up towards the block on this side. See if it helps you squeeze the glutes. Stay active and connected here. Bring the block back to the floor. Find your plank pose. Move through the push-up, lower and rise. Return to side plank on the right hand. Last round on this side. Really push down. Stretch through the left fingers a bit more. Active in the feet. Wrap the right shoulder onto the back body just a touch. Bring your left hand to the ground. Side plank on the left hand. Grip the block best of your ability. Feel the left shoulder on the back. Feel the right shoulder on the back. Feel the instability here. That's why we're doing all of this tough work, okay? Trust yourself. Keep giving the effort that you can. Bring the block back to the ground. Find your plank pose. Lower to chaturanga in five, four, three, two, one. Rise back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower the knees down. Nice job. Switch your side. Block goes to the left. Take two breaths to prepare yourself. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. All right, same exact work. Set yourself up in plank pose. Full push through both hands so your shoulders should feel off kilter. You should feel as though you maybe are leaning into the right hand a little bit right now. Begin to push into the left hand more. Stack the feet, side plank. Right arm reaches up. Push through the left hand. Create action in the left arm. Play the feet to help you find stability. One more inhale here. On the exhale, right hand to the floor. Side plank on the right hand. Take the block up to the ceiling. And just like we did on the other side, look up. Look up towards the block. Push into your right hand. Trust the gripping of the fingers, the activity of the shoulder. And then bring the block back down to the floor. As it lands, take the push up. Lower and rise. Push into the left hand. Side plank. Reach the right arm all the way up, stretch through the fingers. Get a little bit longer there. Feel the right shoulder on the back body. On your exhale, right hand to floor. 
push into the right hand, stack the shoulder on top of the wrist, take the block up to the ceiling, try and have the block on top of the left shoulder, left shoulder on top of right shoulder, right shoulder on top of right wrist. All of this is available to you. Stick with your breathing. Bring the block back to the floor. Take your push-up lower and rise. And what this is all teaching you as you go for the last round, side plank on the left hand, is your ability to resist gravity, also your ability to endure, your ability to build specific strength to help you perform many different movements. Stay with it here. Push into the left hand. Bring your right hand down to the ground. Let it land. Roll to the outer edge of the right foot. Take the block with you. Feel the ability to not only drive through the right hand, but the ability to squeeze your side waist. Use your legs to support you. Look up towards the block. Try and point your nose towards the base of your knuckles. And then bring the block back down to the floor, which can be one of the hardest parts of all of this to not drop it, and then lower through your push-up for five, four, three, two, one, and rise up. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower the knees down. Excellent work, everybody. Set the block to the mid-height. You can keep the hands on the block. Inch the hips back in space, drop the chest down, stretch out just a little bit here, dropping the forehead down. Breathing in just a little bit easier. Letting yourself recover for a moment. We have two more little tasks and then we'll actually finish in this position. Feels nice. Breathe some energy through the back line of the body. Actually, I just changed my mind. We'll finish in a different position, but. That's neither here nor there. Set the block up towards the top of the mat. Place your hands down and find your downward facing dog. Lift the hips up a little bit higher. You should feel nice in this down dog. Remember how we were holding the block earlier? Now you can just imagine you're holding the block and just lengthen the back body out quite a bit. Push into your hands a little bit more. Lift heels, bend knees. On your exhale, step or float feet to outside of hands for active squat. As you find your active squat, locate the block, bring it with you, hold it in the hands. Sit the hips a little bit lower. Tilt the hips a little bit forward. Exhale, straighten legs, block to heart center. Reach the block up towards the ceiling, stretch up through the fingers. Exhale, sit back down, block to heart center. Lean the chest into the block, lengthen the lower back. Holding here, pull the knees apart, crush the block with the hands for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. On one, set the block off to the side, place the hands down. Your vinyasa will meet back in down dog. Hopefully these push-ups feel really Nice, really available after all the preparatory work that we've done. One more round of this Awakening A with the block. If you need to set the block towards the middle of the mat, feel free. Push into the hands, lift heels, bend knees, longest possible spine. Step or float feet to outside of hands. Land as gracefully as possible. Whether you're stepping or floating, locate the block, crush it. Pull the knees apart, sit the hips a little bit lower. Exhale, straighten legs, hands to heart. And you'll reach the hands up, get long through the front body. Exhale, sit the hips back down. Push the chest into the block, lean the heart out, pull the knees apart as you leverage the upper body forward. Pull the tailbone back in space. Breathing in here for seven, six, five, four, three, Two, on one, set the block down. Place the hands down on the ground. Your vinyasa, find lightness in the movement. Again, which is so relative, but it's a mindset. So always coming into the sense of fluidity, the sense of energy, currency flowing through the body. And that's where that thought is. It's not a thought of strength. It's really a thought 
of flow. We're going to take two awakening Bs with the block, and that's going to finish us off. So inhale, lift the right leg up. On the exhale, right foot to right thumb. Locate the block, double bent leg lunge. Exhale, straighten through the left leg. Bring the block to heart center. Lean out. Bent leg, warrior three. Exhale, straighten through the right leg. Bend the right knee. Set the left foot down towards the back of the mat. Block to base of skull. Look up. Inhale, reach the hands away. Open the heart. Exhale, block to floor. Hands land. Three-legged dog. The right leg lifts. Pull the body through into your upward facing dog. Exhale, roll back downward. Facing dog, left leg lifts. Left foot scoots up to the left thumb. Locate the block, double bent leg lunge. Exhale, straighten through the right leg to the best of your ability. Bring the block to heart center, lean out. Crouching warrior, lift through the right leg. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Bend the left knee. Toes go to the ground, back edge of mat. Block to base of skull. Inhale, reach the hands away, open through the chest. Breathe in a little bit more air. On the exhale block, returns to the floor. Hands land, step back to your three-legged dog. Pull the body through into upward facing dog. Roll back downward facing dog. Last full round, stick with it. Inhale, lift the right leg up. On the exhale, right foot to right thumb. Catch the block, double bent leg lunge. Exhale, straighten through the left leg. Block to heart center, lean out, crouching warrior. Option to take the block overhead out in front of you. Exhale, straighten through the right leg. Bend the right knee. Land the left foot at the edge of the mat. Thumbs the base of skull. Inhale, reach the hands away. Open the heart. Exhale, block to floor. Hands the floor. Three-legged dog. Pull the right foot back in space. Inhale, open the body through into your upward facing dog. Exhale, roll back downward. Facing dog, last round here. Inhale, the left leg lifts. On the exhale, left foot to left thumb. Locate the block, find your double bent leg lunge. Exhale, straighten through the right leg. Block to heart center, lean out. Crouching warrior. Option to take the block out in front of you. Exhale, straighten through the left leg. Bend the left knee, right foot journeys to the edge of the mat, block to base of skull. Inhale, reach the hands away, open through the chest, get long, get more lifted. On your exhale, block to the floor, hands to the floor. Left leg lifts, pull the body through into your upward facing dog. And on your exhale, downward facing dog. Lower the knees to the floor. Sit to the heels, take a moment, long spine, shoulders on back body. Breathe. That can be so intense. And even this short class, right, all of a sudden, you're really picking up a ton of energy, picking up a ton of strength, a ton of coordination. And the mind is really turning on, and that's the goal of our practices. The practice isn't designed to take you out of the moment. It's designed to bring you into the moment. It should bring more focus, bring more clarity, bring more presence. So notice, if you're doing any practice and you feel like you're tuning out, try and find ways to tune in. Feel free to stay in the seat to close the journey. Or if you want, if you've used the block in many challenging ways during this practice, maybe the nicest thing to do is lay on the back, set the block by the shoulders, to support you, middle height, lowest height, and allow a subtle lift and opening through the chest. Either way you choose to close, it's perfect. Take your time there. Breathe nice and easy. Be nice and steady. As always, thank you so much for joining me for these practices. I hope to share space with you again soon. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.